Hello everyone and how are you? How are you today? Good morning! Today we're going to do some songs. Oh, my name is Narielle Davis. I'm a children's librarian here at the Duncan Branch. And today we are going to sing songs and stories about, read some stories about clothes. Are you wearing clothes today? I am. Maybe you're wearing a shirt or a pair of pants. Maybe you're wearing some socks. Maybe you have some shoes on or a sweater. Or maybe you're wearing a dress or a skirt. It's very exciting. Maybe you're even wearing a hat. I've got a very special hat today. I'm going to sing a song about this funny little hat. Ready? On my head I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my head wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Hmm. Maybe I'll put my silly hat on my knee. Ready? On my knee I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my knee wiggle wiggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Maybe my silly hat could go on my elbow. On my elbow I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my elbow wiggle wiggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Maybe my silly hat could go on my foot. What do you think? On my foot, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my foot wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? I don't know. What about my hands? Let's try that. Ready? On my hands, I wear a hat. It is such a quiet hat that my hands don't wiggle. They only clap. They go, and then I fold them in my lap. Oh, my hat makes my hands act quiet. Interesting. All right. And we're going to visit this hat again later, but it'll go right here for now. All right. And we're going to read a little story now and tell a little story. And this story is called Something from Nothing. And this is by Phoebe Gilman, Phoebe Gilman. by Scholastic English. So we're going to tell the story, but we're not actually going to read it. We're just going to tell it and sing some action. So this story is about a grandfather and a grandson. Now the grandfather lived in a village. He had some lovely fabric and he wanted to make his grandson a gift. So he took his fabric, beautiful fabric, and he took his scissors and he cut his fabric. Needle and he took his thread and he sewed his fabric in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out and he finally made a beautiful coat. Now his grandson, he wore that coat everywhere. He wore it when he was out playing with his friends. He wore it when he was running around. He wore it everywhere. And then his mother looked at that coat and it was dirty. It had a big stain on it and it had a rip in it. And she took that coat and she said, this coat is dirty. We're going to have to throw it out. <gasps> well, the little boy said, Grandpa can fix it. Grandpa can fix it. He took it to his grandpa. And his grandpa took that coat. He turned it around. He turned it around. He took his scissors and he went snip, 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 snip. And he took his needle and thread and he went in and out and in and out and in and out. And he made a lovely vest. And his grandson, he wore that vest everywhere. He wore it on Sundays, he wore it on Mondays, he wore it to school, he wore it everywhere. And his mom saw that vest and she looked at it and she went, this vest is gonna go, it's got a big rip in the side, it's got a stain from supper, it is dirty and ripped, it's no, we've got to throw it out. Well, the little boy, he looked at that vest and he said, grandpa can fix it, he took it to his grandpa and his grandpa turned it around and around thread, snip, 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 snip. He took a needle and thread and he went in and out and in and out and in and out and he made a lovely cap. And his grandson he put that cap on his head and he wore that cap all the time. He loved that cap. He wore it and sometimes it got, he wore it outside when it got rained. 
He wore it outside when it was sunny. He wore it outside when there were birds out. Bit of a risk. He wore that cap all the time. And one day, it says like the one day, his mother saw that cap and she took it and she said, this cap is filthy. It's got a big stain from a bird. It's got a big rip in it from one day when it fell off your head. It's, uh, it's filthy. It has, we've got to throw it out. The little grandmother spoke to someone who said, no, 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 grandpa can fix it. Grandpa took it from his grandpa. And his grandpa turned it around and around, took a scissors and went snip, 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 took a few more thread and went in and out and in. Here we are grandson. His grandson wore that bow tie all over the place. He wore it to supper for special occasions. These are more rules sometimes. He wore it all the time. But one day his mother saw that bow tie and she said, this bow tie is filthy. It's got a big soup stain from when you wore it to supper. It's got a big ink stain from when you wore it to school. And it's got a little bit of a rip in it. That bow tie, we have to throw this out. Wow, Grandpa can fix it, Grandpa can fix it. So the little boy took it to Grandpa. He turned it around and around. The scissors went snip, 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 snip. And his needle went in and out, and in and out, and in and out, and in and out. And he knew a handkerchief. And that little boy, he wore that handkerchief all over the place. He wore it when he had to sneeze because he covered his nose. Heck. He wore it when he had to wipe food off his mouth. He wore it all the time. And he washed it between them, but still, that handkerchief got a big stain in it, and it got a little rip in it, and it had to be thrown out. Well, the little boy said, Grandpa can fix it, Grandpa can fix it. He took it to Grandpa. Well, there was only a little bit of fabric left. The little Grandpa looked at the fabric and turned it around and around and thought about it. He took his scissors and went snip, 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 snip. He took a few more thread. on that little boy's coat and he wore that coat and he wore that button all over the place. He wore it out, he wore it when he was playing, he wore it when he was reading, he wore it all the time. And then one day he looked at his coat and realized the button was missing. <gasps> and he looked everywhere for it. He looked where he'd been playing, he looked where he'd been reading, but he couldn't find the button. It was gone. He went to Grandpa and he went, Grandpa, the button's gone. Well, Grandpa said, even I can't make something from nothing. And the little boy had an idea. And he thought about his button. And he thought about his clothes. And he thought about his jacket. And he turned those ideas around and around in his head. And he took a pen and a piece of paper. And he went, brush, 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 brush. And he made, from all those that, that buttons and all that clothes, he made a skirt. So he turned to something That is something we can all make. That's the end of that. All right. Well, we're going to do one more song about our clothes today. And this is about the colors on our clothes. My clothes are not very colorful today, I don't think. But I do have some blue, and I do have some black, and I have some white. So maybe you have some bright and colorful clothes on. So we'll see if this song makes you have to do something action too. If you're wearing red today, red today, red today. If you're wearing red today, jump up and say hooray, hooray! Oops, I'm not wearing red, but maybe you got to say hooray. Let's try another one. If you're wearing green today, green today, green today. If you're wearing green today, jump up and say hooray, hooray! Green on me, but you might be wearing green. Let's this one. If you're wearing blue today, blue today, blue today. If you're wearing blue today, jump up and say hooray, hooray! Oh, I was wearing green for that one. Maybe you're wearing blue too. If you're wearing pink today, pink today, pink today. If you're wearing pink today, jump up and say hooray, hooray! No pink on it. Try this one. If you're wearing black today, black today, black today. If you're wearing black today, jump up and say hooray, 
Hooray! One more. This one's a bit of a tricky one. If you're wearing clothes today, clothes today, clothes today, if you're wearing clothes today, jump up and say hooray. Hooray! Yay! I hope you all got to jump with me. That was fun. All right. Now we're going to make this bring back this hat that we had at the beginning of our story. And I'm going to show you how you can make a hat like this one. Well, maybe a little smaller than this one. We're going to use a smaller piece of paper. So, we're going to take a piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half. Ready? Fold in half. And we've got it folded in half. And on the side that doesn't open on the top side, we're going to make a triangle. We're going to fold one side down and the other side down so that they meet in the center. Kind of like this. Let's see if I can do that for you. There we go. See? And now we're going to take the bottom of it where it opens and we're going to fold one part up on one side. And we're going to fold the other part up on the other side. And we're going to open it up. <gasps> and we've got a very small little hat. <laughs> now I can make this hat even smaller. If I open it up all the way and push it together, like this, and make a square, and then I fold up one side, and I fold up the other side. I open it up. I've got even a smaller hat. What do you think? Oh, that doesn't seem to want to stay on my head. My head's a little bit too big, I think. But there we go. We got a nice tiny little hat. I like my little hat. This one I think is quite fun. Oh, maybe without a dust that falls down. Maybe you can make a hat for yourself sometime. All we have for today's story time, but I hope you can join us again. Well, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon.